We called um, this gathering at the last minute um, because unfortunately um, last evening there was a young woman in our community um, who uh, approached an officer who was um, taking down signs. With the killing of black men in this country? Oh, I can only worry about the park where I work. But sir, I, people are putting these flyers up. But because... they're not allowed to. Mm. They're not allowed to. It's illegal. The officer's interaction with the young lady was unacceptable, and I wanted to communicate that to our community, have a dialogue. It was great to see her here today. Um, uh, more of an all lives matter approach on his end in the sense where it was, you know, oh, you know, I serve all the people. And... That simple interaction with you to the officer was so impactful to everyone standing here. The discussion was about flyers, but it's not about flyers, and everyone knows that. It's more about what is going on in our country. As a police officer in this country, you're not in power? No, I'm, a, I'm at the bottom. You're at the bottom? At the Buddy, bottom. you got a lot more power than a lot of these black folk out here. The actual dismissive nature in which he interacted with her, not even acknowledging that there is a racial disparity, racial discrimination problem in our country, to me, is tone deaf. And I don't want officers that don't understand and, and get that there is a problem. So you and the chief are helping and hang uh, signs that say Black Lives Matter. Yes. Um, and there's a lot of pain right now because of the death of George Floyd. Can you say that the city of Tacoma Park stands with the Black Lives Matter movement? Oh, I can absolutely tell you that the city of Tacoma Park stands with the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, I, I, I've always been a huge supporter of the movement. I think that, that it's important. The work they do is extremely important, um, and, and absolutely, I and the police department stand 100% behind the understanding of what the movement is.